guys, it's early in the morning, uh, Eastern Time in Vegas. It is, uh, well, let me see what time it is. It's about 11 o'clock Pacific, so it's about 2 a.m. Eastern. And we've already got the APU fired up, and uh, passengers are going to be on their way soon. Their bags are already on the way. Uh, so everything's powered. You can see we got lights on in the back and everything like that. It's all set. we got to make the bed back there soon so they can sleep on the way home. We're going to fly the red eye back tonight, and we're going to get to clearance now from, uh, from Vegas clearance, and then put, I'll show you how to put it in the FMS. So uh, just turn the speaker volume up. We're on um, dose. And we'll give him a call. That's loud. That's, uh, that's better. At clearance, good evening, 170 Hotel Lima to Raleigh Durham. Seven zero Hotel Lima. Number one zero seven Hotel Lima. I'm not sure anything stored in the system for that call sign. Yeah, it was one seven zero one seven zero Hotel Lima. So I guess we're about 20 seconds too early for his half hour limit. He couldn't look it up for us, so he'll give it to us in a second, I suppose. Uh, everything's all aligned here. We've got on the nav one, uh, I don't know how that got zoomed in, but here we go, nav one. Uh, it's already aligned. I'm not showing any ground speeds or anything like that. That's just a position report. And then we got flight plan over here, so I can go ahead and enter uh, KRV. We know that's where we're going. Uh, anticipating off of 19 right. Cowboy departure. IMW. Let's hope that's what we get. We can fix that later. If not. Got a wacky flight plan going on tonight right, just because of uh, some weather down around uh, the Dallas area, a little bit east of there, so we're having to go down south. Station 170 uh, Hotel Lima, clear until we're ready. Yeah, go ahead for 170 Hotel Lima. Station 0 Hotel Lima, clear Raleigh Durham Airport via Cowboy 4, RNF departure, wind flow transition, add file, squawk 7260. Alright, uh, clear to the Raleigh Durham Airport via the Cowboy 4. Winslow transition as filed in 7260 on the squawk 170. Okay, so yep, that's exactly what they gave us. So uh, we're going to go ahead and plug in that clearance. We already got the Cowboy 4 Winslow transition in there, so I'm going to look at my flightplan.com sheet with the rest of it. So next we've got. Uh, turn that off, that's annoying. We've got the Corona VOR, uh, so we're going to put that in next. That's a CNX. Type that in, put it up top. Uh, next after that is Ranger, that's uh, Fort Worth, that's FWZ. Buzz. Here after that, El Dorado ELD. The next page, and add some more Atlanta. Good old ATL. And then uh, Buzzy, Buzzy 6 in Raleigh. So we'll hit Nav, Arrival, Star, the Buzzy 6, activate. And I uh, don't need Columbia, so we we'll delete Columbia. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to the next page. Take the buzzy, put it up right after Atlanta. And that goes all the way to Raleigh. So now we've got uh, originating 19 right in Las Vegas. That's all 
some departure fixes. Uh, it's an RNAV departure to Cowboys. Uh, to Winslow, that's a high NW. Then Cowboy, or that's not Cowboy, that's Corona. Excuse me, CNX Corona. Uh, to Fort Worth, the Ranger VOR. Dorado, Atlanta, Buzzy, Buzzy 6 arrival in Raleigh. And that's it, so we'll go Perfinit. We always do max speed cruise. Why not? We're in a 10. That's why you get a 10, right? We'll reserve as NVAA. We're going to go, uh, let's see what he filed here for. 370 is what he filed. So we'll put in 37,000. Plug it into the initial cruise altitude. And got 12,700 pounds of gas on board. And that's only 300 pounds short of max fuel. Uh, so we're topped off tonight. We've got four people going back with us. Probably have close to 200 pounds of cargo. These guys pack like they're here for a really long time. And that puts us right at max weight. Uh, so that'll be good. Confirm initialization. And I didn't close the flight plan. I got to go back in here. It's just going to RDU, not KRDU. We'll put that in there, and that should close the flight plan. Now we'll go to takeoff. Perf, and it's... Yeah, now it's going to let me do it. Okay. So now I'll go perf, take off, and it has a lot of stuff in there. Uh, we'll get the latest altimeter soon on the way out. In fact, actually, we can do that now. That's in the nav come to. something that it's not 2973. <laughs> Look, it just knows. It puts that box around it. it says, uh, no you don't. And that's not right. So you can't cheat the system when you're doing this takeoff initialization, which is kind of impressive for an airplane designed when it was. So put that in 2967, that box goes away, and, uh, and that's ready to go. So wind, uh, that's what I did not get off the ATIS. Coming 
got a oh, package on the people. We need to reset our altitude down to 500 feet.